एवरीवन हिज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज 1.3 एथ क्वेश्चन चैप्टर इज इंटीजर ऑफ क्लास 7 द क्वेश्चन इज अ सीमेंट कंपनी अर्न्स अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ रुपीस 8 पर बैग ऑफ अ व्हाइट सीमेंट सोल्ड एंड अ लॉस ऑफ रुपीस 5 पर बैग ऑफ अ ग्रे सीमेंट सोल्ड वी हैव अ टू क्वेश्चंस टू आंसर द फर्स्ट वन इज अ कंपनी सेल्स 3000 बैग्स ऑफ व्हाइट सीमेंट एंड 5000 बैग्स ऑफ ग्रे सीमेंट इन अ मंथ what is its profit or loss so we don't know we getting a profit or loss we have to find out that and company is selling 3000 bags of white cement and 5000 bags of a gray cement and they are given the charges like for every white cement they are earning a 8 rupees and profit and for every gray cement they are losing a 5 rupees per bag so let's calculate this so it's a first question so you want to first calculate the total profit they are earning so here they have given that profit earned per bag is 8 rupees so for 3000 bags we want to calculate so profit earned profit earned for 3000 bags will be now for each bag that is for one bag profit is 8 rupees right it's rupees 8 so for 3000 bag it will be 3000 into 8 so it will be rupees 8 multiplied by 3000 which will be equal to 24000 so total cost is 20 24000 they getting a profit now similarly we have to find out the loss so loss incurred will be loss incurred for they are selling 5000 bags so for 5000 bags will be equal to now since they are losing it we have to multiply with minus 5 because it's a loss right so it will be rupees uh, minus 5 i am going to multiply it by 5000 now 5 5 is 25 so we get minus 25000 Now we have to find the total profit or loss. So we're going to find out the total sum. That is, uh, we're going to add total price here. Both profit and loss will be added, and we'll see if we're getting a profit or loss. So total profit or loss will be total profit or loss will be equal to. We have to just add them. So it will be twenty four thousand plus minus twenty five thousand. Now this will be like we have a one plus and one we have minus sign so plus into minus will become minus so it will be twenty four thousand minus twenty five thousand or if you know if we have a different way of adding it you can add it since we are adding a two integer with a different sign we have to subtract it and that's what we are doing here in this step we are subtracting it so when you subtract this two we'll get answer ten thousand. So we're gonna get the answer thousand. So not ten thousand. We're gonna get the answer thousand. But the sign will be negative because twenty five thousand is greater than twenty four thousand. Sign is negative. We're gonna get minus sign here. So minus sign indicate that there is a loss. They're getting a loss of rupees thousand here. That's the first question. Now second question is little different than the first question. So let me erase this one. Now in the second question, what they're asking. What is the number of white cement bag it must sell to have neither profit nor loss? If number of grey bags sold is six thousand four hundred bags, now the, we have to you're not not getting any profit, you're not getting any loss. So the if you add this loss and profit should be equal to zero. And so and they have given only one thing that they're selling here six thousand four hundred bags of grey cement, and we have to find out the number of white cement bags in this question. Now, since we don't know the number of white cement bags, uh, we have to calculate that. I'm gonna assume that to be x. So, number of white cement bag will be equal to x. Okay. Now, if I frame this, it's like we're not getting profit, we're not getting loss, which means, and here we have given that we are getting eight rupees profit for every white cement bag. So If I calculate the profit, it will be eight into total number of white cement bags. Since we don't know that, we have taken it as x. It will be eight into x plus. Now we have to calculate the loss also. They are selling here six thousand four hundred grey cement bag, and the loss here is rupees five. So it will be minus five 
multiplied by 6400 so if I if you have to find out the total loss it will be 5 into 6400 and total profit will be 8 into the number of white cement bags which we don't know so we have taken X now if I add this profit and loss it should be equal to 0 because in the question they have given that neither they are getting a profit nor they are getting loss so if we add profit and loss it should be equal to 0 so here we are forming an equation it is like 8x plus now if I multiply 5 and 6400 here I'll get 32,000 so it will be minus 32,000 is equal to 0 so I'm going to transpose this minus 32,000 to the other side because I have to find out the value of x now I'm going to transpose my third we're going to use transpose so the signs will change minus will become plus so it will be 8x is equal to 32,000 now since we have to find out the value of x, I don't want 8 here. I'm going to transpose 8 to the other side. Now 8 is under multiplication when transpose this to the other side when it comes in division. So it is 32,000 divided by 8. Now you can cancel this number so you can divide this number. I'm going to cancel here directly in 8 table. 8 ones are 8 and 8 fours are 32 and followed by 3 zero. So it will be 4,000. So therefore total gray, uh, sorry total white a cement bag required here will be 4000 that will be the conclusion so therefore or I'm going to just write down here itself number of white cement bag will be equal to 4000 so that's it I hope this question is clear in case you have further question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching